Okay, welcome to my laser cutting and laser engraving corner. Just gonna put a piece of 3mm plywood. Okay, puzzle is ready. Yes, 20 minutes, 27 seconds. So you can actually start a small home business with this one. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings. Halishan Mah here. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily make jigsaw puzzles for your kids at home. You know, it's better to give your kids some puzzles so they use their brains and creative activities to put together the puzzles rather than spending and wasting time on games and iPads and Android phones. So, as you can see, I have one right here. I created this morning and in this video I'm going to show you how to create the similar type. As you can see I can remove all the parts, I mean I can move all the parts away and you know it is 4x4 four four and it was kind of you know challenge for me because <laughs> I am not very good with the jigsaw puzzle. So this is a 4x4 four four puzzle and I'm gonna show you in this video how to make let's say make it more challenging jigsaw puzzle. So let's get it started. Software that I'm going to use to create jigsaw puzzle is called Inkscape. It's a free freeware software. You can easily download it without it paying anything. It's an open source and it's an alternative to Coral Draw. If you cannot purchase Coral Draw and you don't know how to use it, Inkscape has a very you know easy learning curve and you can easily learn it. There are lots of videos online. So download the Inkscape. There's a link in the video description. And once you have the Inkscape, just run the software. Okay, go to a new document. And now you have to uh, go to manage extensions. Okay, and here you have to install packages and see laser cut jigsaw. If you want to wa make laser cut tab boxes, you can also download this uh, um, extension for this one. Okay, so once you have these extensions, you can easily use them to uh, make a jigsaw puzzle. So I'm going to make it 150 by 150 size. Uh, for which I need to leave some slack, okay, on the page. So I'm just going to make it 170, 170 millimeter document size, okay. After that, I'm going to go to extensions, render, and I have laser cut jigsaw. I'm going to put it 150 by 150 width and height, corner radius I'll leave 5, and then I'll use millimeters for... Uh, my measurement live preview you can see that you can also see uh, corners how the corners will actually uh, make difference if you change this number okay so the, these are the corner radius uh, I'll just leave it to five all right so once you have this uh, man six by six looks very complex how about we do five by five because you know <laughs> Later I can do 6x6 six six maybe. Let's do 5x5 five five notches. You can also set some of these. Uh, you can change the seed if you want, okay? Once you are happy with your result, remember once again, width and height is 150 by 150 in millimeters. Uh, border width, border radius, I also left 5 uh, millimeter, okay? Pack location, well, if you want to cut a pack, you can also keep it, but normally I will just delete it. So once you have done this, say apply, okay? If you do it twice, there will be two of these, sorry. So once you have this, you can simply uh, erase the pack, which you don't want. Uh, of course, I don't want. If you want, you can keep it. And now I'm going to go fill and stroke. I will keep, uh, let's say, I'll select all. And stroke for cutting, laser cutting, I will keep it 0.1 millimeter. And stroke paint, I will define red. Okay. Now I have my jigsaw puzzle. I will simply export it. Export as uh, you know, on the desktop, let's say jigsaw 150x150. Okay. Bam. Done. So once you are done, you have your jigsaw, now you need a picture. So for picture, you can basically do anything. And now we are ready to take these files to uh, our laser cutting software. And 
laser cut base. Okay, welcome to my laser cutting and laser engraving corner. Uh, this is Two Trees Laser Engraver and Laser Cutter. A complete video review of this coming very, very soon on my channel. I have been very, very busy with that. As you can see, I've been engraving, cutting, uh, you know, look at that. I've been busy with that. So, first thing first, we're gonna run the GRBL software, okay? So, let's get ready. All right, once I have my GRBL running, I'm just gonna connect my laser engraver. And I'm connected, I'm gonna insert my USB, okay? Uh, first thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna do is run the GRBL configuration just to make sure everything is good. So I'm just gonna go desktop and laser GRBL configuration, all imported, all right, that's good. And I'm gonna home the laser engraver okay i'm gonna just control it from there or from here and i'm just gonna move where i want the laser to start cutting from so normally i do is move it all the way until it cannot move anymore and then move at this side let's just turn on the laser at five percent level and check where it is so let's do one mm well, I think we can start right from here, uh, here to just to leave some slack, I believe. Okay, and I'm just gonna put a piece of three mm plywood. Let's turn the laser off so it doesn't start putting dots on it. This has a very very powerful laser. So once it is here, I'm just gonna check the dot was here it's starting from here so i'm just gonna cut it some slack just to leave enough for you know the borders to cut okay and i'm just gonna do setting the origin point close this and now everything has to be done on the laser grbl now i do not have a screen recorder here but i hope you can actually see it through the camera what i'm going to do so i'm going to open the file um, from the usb drive which we just created uh, and it should be jigsaw uh, 150 150 and we have our cat for the jigsaw basically i was also thinking to change something more easy like this dragon will be probably more easy we'll see how things go so let's just find our jigsaw 150 by 150 okay and we have it here so I'm gonna use center line okay and using the corner threshold also set to high I'm just gonna drag a line just to you know crop it so what i do normally is i see how it will look like okay so i will use 250 millimeter per minute speed full laser power and i will say this is this is 150 by 150 size okay so create it and now i can check how it will look like so i'll just do the preview just to see it will fit my the wooden piece okay this is good so this should be basically my picture and the jigsaw should be bigger so what I will do is I will create a picture slightly smaller size than this okay so I'm just gonna go open the file and choose the picture. Let's try the dragon. So this looks much more visible in uh, Stuckey, Atkinson, yeah, much more visible. Okay, so I'm just gonna go next and let's say 146, okay, create it. All right, so this is this. Now we're gonna see how it will look like on our laser engraver so i'm just gonna go preview a 
looks good. So what I'm gonna do is leave a bit more slack for that, where I will set the origin point slightly, let's say, one millimeter in, three millimeter in, four, four, okay? Four millimeter in, four millimeter in, just to be safe. Okay, and do this looks very, very good. Okay, the engraving has started. Let's see how the dragon will look like after it's finished. Okay, so dragon carp is ready, but I'm not gonna touch this plate because I need this plate to be right here. Man, this looks really nice actually. Carved very well. Okay, so now I need to load my jigsaw 150 by 150. Now at this point, this is a trial and error kind of thing and you have to be very careful otherwise you will ruin your beautiful picture. Alright, which just we just carved. So I'm gonna go with jigsaw 150 by 150, go to center line and I will try to crop it as close as possible, also making sure that I do not lose any lines. Looks much better, okay? I can work with this one. Now because I have to cut it, so I will leave the speed 250 millimeter per minute and pump up the laser power to 100%. And now I'm gonna put it to 150 by 150 and it's taking with 146, I don't mind. So I'm just gonna create it. And now I'm gonna go and check if the, you know, boundary is right around my dragon or not. So I'm just gonna first check it right from that point where I started. And I see it's cutting one of the scales from the right and one from the bottom, okay? We can fix this by simply moving the laser head and setting a new uh, new position point to start. So, right now that the area is set, I'm just gonna hit the play, start carving, and let's hope it actually carves, I mean cuts this nicely and does not ruin my uh, dragon. And inner line will be five millimeter in, so we will have a bit of nose, a bit of down scales, and a bit of left scales cut on the frame, which is again okay, I believe, because it will serve as a starting point on the frame. is ready now I just have to pick it up very carefully not to mix up all the pieces okay the puzzle is ready let's play this yes 20 minutes 27 seconds I have finished my puzzle mm, how sweet it is well my other one is ready let me bring that one here as well okay this one is ready as well this is on the easier side with the birdies two birdies and four by four so this should be easy to do and This is how you easily make jigsaw puzzles at home using the 2-3 laser engraver and laser cutter. You can make them more challenging, I mean these puzzles, you can make them more challenging by increasing the number of pieces and the size. 2-3's laser engraver and laser cutter 
offers up to 300 into 200 bed size but work area is somewhere to 270 to 80 millimeter x 175 millimeter based on the grbl software now a little bit about a two tree laser engraver and laser cutter sitting in the background and it's still working it's a workhorse it's a it has been working since it arrived and it's more than a week it has been working non-stop i've been doing a whole lot of things that i will show you in details in an upcoming detailed video review of two tree laser engraver but before i end this video i would say you know this is one of the best thing to happen i hope they will keep the price of this one down once they release it it's the very very first model that i have here i'm lucky to have it here i'm testing and giving it feedback so, so once again i hope they will keep it affordable when they release it because this this offers a whole lot of possibilities if you are just a hobbyist and getting into laser cutting laser engraving hobby or you want to take it as a small home business I believe two trees laser engraver and laser cutter is going to prove to be a very very useful machine for all of you because you can do a whole lot because you can do not just laser engraving with it so if you're talking about a small home business not only you can do laser engraving home business for various materials but also you can make small toy kits wooden toy kits you can cut small wooden toy kits you can cut small jigsaw puzzles just like you saw that and you can even start selling those so you can actually start a small home business with this one when it comes to laser cutting and laser engraving and for hobbyist and personal use of course if you want to pick up some challenging projects this offers a whole lot of possibilities thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it so Give it a big thumb up and stay tuned to my channel by subscribing and hitting that little bell icon and turning on all the notifications. Don't miss a complete detailed video review of Two Trees Laser Engraver and a whole lot of laser engraving and laser cutting projects and videos coming your way on my channel. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button right there come on don't be shy just hit it thank you very much for all your support towards my work that i post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you hit that like button right there.